What's going on YouTube and Uncommon Sense fam? We got a tag challenge today from my boy over at Trey Sense. And guess what the category of this one is? What I like to call heavy hitters. Big up to my man over at Trey Sense. I appreciate you brother for tagging me in this challenge. My heavy hitter fragrances are gonna be ones that have amazing performance, projection, longevity, scent. First up, I did want to include an honorable mention in this list, Versace Man Overage. I really think it's good for the summertime. For this one to be a more blue fragrance, like freshies, this one lasts a good amount of time and actually puts a lot of the fresh or blue fragrances to shame in terms of longevity. Without further ado, we're about to get into this thing. Let's go. Every single day. to the number 10 spot we have somewhat of an unusual fragrance i'll just go ahead and say it it's an uncommon scent i actually got put onto this one by my man e emitsu over at simply put scents jessica simpson fancy nights oh they parfum i know what you guys are gonna say but that's a woman's fragrance be cool it is very earthy it's green Hence the bottle. And it is patchouli to the max. It has a dank darkness a certain type of gentleman can pull off. You've got to be a lot of man to be able to, one, be confident to rock this one. But it does have that heavy, dark, deep patchouli base that is undeniable. I've gotten great feedback, especially from women. I was hanging with my niece one day and I was leaning over showing her something on the sewing machine. She was like, oh, you smell good. And what's interesting about this fragrance is I've been using this as a base to help other fragrances last a little bit longer. You guys want a treat? Put Free Time by Ferragamo on top of this one, you will not be disappointed. So that's just a little free gem for you guys to try out with layering different fragrances. This one is a longevity monster. Last time I wore it, I had this on my skin for the whole day. And I'm talking about the whole day, sun up to sundown. It has no problems with performance. The projection is there as well. It's not a monster projection, but it projects very noticeably about two feet. I wore a Jessica Simpson Fancy Nights more along the lines of autumn and fall, just because it is a denser, darker fragrance. Coming up to the number nine spot, Hane Mori Eau de Parfum. Don't hear a whole lot of talk about it. My man Fred has said knows what I'm talking about. Hidden gem. Good atomizer. The opening on this one leaves a little bit to be desired. It has that really concentrated citrus up front. It can kind of come off like lemon pledge. <laughs> kind of like lemon pledge. This one tones like lemon meringue pie in the mid and then in the dry down you have that gourmand cinnamon bun sweet vanilla vibe. This one makes you smell like dessert. If you're not a snack you may just well be one once you wear this. This one's beast mode and longevity. The projection's not very crazy. First time I wore this one, it lasted about eight or so hours. The second time I wore it, it changed a little bit. It seemed like it projected more, but it lasted a little longer. I definitely think this is probably one for the cooler months. Coming in at number eight, Periellis Prom. Eau de Toilette, look at the presentation. All my frag heads know what this was about. I get about eight and a half hours of longevity. I get about three and a half hours of projection on my skin. I prefer the price point of this one much more than Blue de Chanel and does exactly what I need. I found that Perilous Per Homme Eau de Toilette performs very well in projection and longevity. Coming right on up to my number seven spot, Scuderia Ferrari Forte Eau de Parfum. Good atomizer. One of the brothers in the Facebook fragrance groups put me onto this one. I think it was his scent of the day. Somebody asked about plum notes. This one has a very pronounced plum note. Kind of smells like a Danish or a dessert to me. It's borderline gourmand. There's some muskiness. There's some sweetness there. And the last time I wore it, it lasted me the whole day. As I was laying down, I could still smell this one projecting off of my skin. 10 hours of longevity, three and a half hours of projection before it died down into more of a skin set, but it still projected nicely. This one is a beast in longevity and it a performance chops behind it. It has a somewhat of a floral background and I feel like it operating within spring and summer would work best. Coming up to the number six spot, Mont Blanc Emblem. Get into space. 
I get that burst of sweet, fruity freshness. Opening definitely smells like a strawberry banana slushy. Lasts roughly about seven and a half, eight hours on my skin. It projects quite nicely at about two and a half feet for about the first three hours. It settles a little closer to the skin, not quite dying down, and then it projects in waves. The sillage on this one is very great. I will be more apt to wear this one spring and summer because the scent of it smells and feels like spring and summer. It does have that fresh fruitiness in it that I really enjoy. Coming in at number five, Oscar de la Renta Gentleman, the Eau de Toilette. It has that musky vetiver, kind of like Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir, kind of like Givenchy Blue Label, kind of like Teradera Mace. I really enjoy the way this one is done because the musk takes center stage on my skin, but it's musk elevate. There's a woody spiciness that goes along with the musk that I really enjoy. The projection on this one is pretty bananas. Projects for about three hours at about two and a half feet and the longevity it lasts me roughly about six and a half to seven hours. So it's not a beast in longevity but it projects very nicely at a great distance. I would tend to wear Oscar de la Renta's Gentleman spring mostly. That muskiness comes off as body odor with cologne on top of it. This is why Oscar de la Renta Gentleman made the number five spot as a heavy here in the department of projection. Coming up to the number four spot, Coach Man, Eau de Toilette. Oh yeah, man. This one is amazing in terms of projection and longevity. This one lasts eight hours on my skin, no contest. I will reserve this one more or less for spring and summer. I've worn it in the fall before and I've noticed that the cooler temperatures seem to have helped this one last a little bit longer. I wouldn't do any more than about six or so sprays. This one is a beast. It is indeed one of my heavy hitter fragrances. It projected roughly at about two and a half feet for about three hours. It lasted eight hours on my skin. So in projection and longevity, this one is indeed a heavy hitter. Coming in at number three, Fon Defendi. Eau de Toilette. This one is a shoe wearing for fall and winter. This one is an absolute heavy hitter. It has an amazing sillage. It has an amazing longevity. It has an amazing projection. I get three feet of projection on this one at about three hours. It lasts all day on me. The most amount of longevity I've gotten out of this one was 10 hours. If you get this on clothes, it's gonna stick. It is a fragrance that is very well done. Can't go wrong with Fine Defendi. If you've not given this a shot, please do. Coming up to the number two spot, Versace Arrows. It's the God of Love. This one is a complete beast. It smells great. It lasts forever and it projects. This is the epitome of what a heavy hitter fragrance is to me. I can spray roughly about five sprays across the body. Try my hardest not to put this one on the list. It got itself on the list. I couldn't deny it. Lasts uh, roughly about 10 hours on my skin, projecting for about three. It gives you a scent bubble at about three feet. So this one can be very nuclear. I will probably keep this one more or less for the fall slash winter month. I've worn it in the summertime, but I just dial back the amount of sprays. Racing all the way to the top as my best performing, longest lasting, heavy hitting fragrance, Bulgari Man in Black Essence. And this one's an Eau de Parfum. This one's leathery. It's dark, smoky. It smells amazing. This is the only fragrance I've ever experienced that has lasted me 16 hours. I sprayed on the pit of my elbow roughly about at 6 p.m. and went about my day. Went to bed and woke up the next morning and I could still smell this one on my skin. It lasts forever, it projects, it smells amazing, and again, it has a nice scent bubble. This one lasts roughly about 10 to 12 hours on my skin. It projects for about four or five of those hours at about three feet. This is my best performing fragrance in longevity and projection. I tried to shuffle this around. To do so would have been robbing this of the shine that it thoroughly deserves. I appreciate Trey Sense for issuing the tag challenge and thinking of a brother. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you guys for sticking around. I want you guys to give me your feedback. What do you think about the fragrances that I presented? Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Also leave suggestions on some fragrances that I should try to have some of the best performance and projection. Make sure you drop those comments. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. And again, it's been your boy Uncommon Sense. I'm out. Till next time.